Well, I came out here because I found out um, about what was going on in D.C. Um, from Survivor's Camp, and um, I found out about how people were being arrested for praying on a public sidewalk, and I thought, oh my gosh, every time I go to um, a Planned Parenthood to sidewalk council, the first thing I do is pray. And so not being able to have that freedom to pray just shocked me, and I thought, you know, this is something I have to go to, and this is something that I believe, you know, we should stand for. So that's why I came out here. Well, see, a lot of people know what abortion is, but once you really actually talk to them, they don't understand how it's done. They, in their mind, it's a simple process, but they really don't understand how many weeks you can go till. They don't understand that you can go up to the day of birth. Really, it's something that I know a lot of young people my age believe is only um, within the first three months, you know, able to be done, and they believe that the baby isn't fully developed. They don't realize that the baby is already developed and only growing. I talk to lots of young people who are shocked. They're like, but that's not even legal here, and they have no idea that it's completely legal. When I walked up here, one of the escorts, they um, stopped me because they thought that I was actually um, in for an abortion. So they were coming there like, you know, these people are here only to block the sidewalk, we're to escort you up there. And I just was like, well, actually, I'm with those people. Uh, yesterday marked the first time that I've been back here since uh, um, 1989, when I was here with, uh, exactly. with another group. So uh, it's been a while, and um, uh, I'm here basically to support my daughter in any way that I can, and, and, and it's turned out to be so much more. Uh, I feel uh, revitalized. And what, what got me here was when, when Hannah, uh, Hannah showed me the video of, of uh, Reverend Pat uh, getting arrested, and it was just very shocking. I knew what happened, but just actually seeing it happen, even in the way that it happened with the, the policeman holding his hat, in his hand. Uh, it, that was nice to see, but it was still pretty shocking what was happening. And uh, she asked me if she could go, and I said, under one condition, only if I go with you. <laughs> so uh, we're just here. Um, we're, we're here in, in Jesus' name just to take back ground that was, uh, was taken from us long ago. And, and uh, we're just praying that God would be glorified through it. Um, I've always been raised pro-life. Obviously, my dad was, you know, in Operation Rescue, but um, growing up, I did a lot of papers for school on abortion, and one time I was researching both sides of it, and I found um, survivors, um, and so survivors is a group um, for teenagers to come and go to a camp, and they learn about how to do activism, how to do sidewalk counseling, and so I signed up, and I found, this was two years ago, and I found out my dad actually had worked with Jeff and Cheryl Conrad, well, Jeff White and Cheryl Conrad, um, 20 years ago, so that was just incredible that God brought me to Survivors.